Okay, hey guys, so this video is gonna be a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna try to go through really quick. I have bought a ton of bathing garden de-stashes. If there was any sort of bathing garden de-stash in the last week, I was all over it. One of you guys, actually it's Heidi, I think she said it was okay for me to say her name. I think she owns a company and I need to ask her what it is so I can link it. But she actually reached out to me and said, hey, I've got some bathing garden. I can put a little de-stash together for you. And I was like, yes, I love it when you guys reach out to me and you know what have you and offer to put de-stashes together for me. That's awesome. I also got one from Casey and Casey has a channel. I. I can't remember what it's called right now. I was gonna send her my channel back. We were like trading channel info information and I never got back to her. So I will find her channel and link that all as well. She actually sent me two packages because it couldn't fit into one, so. And then the last one is Brianna. I don't know if Brianna has a channel or anything, but so now I'm not gonna do these in the order of like who sent me what because honestly, I've kind of gone through and <laughs> just messed up now the reason I'm mentioning names is because I think it's important when you're buying a D stash that the D stasher is a good and decent person and all four of these ladies or all three of these ladies <clears throat> excuse me were super awesome super easy to deal with they threw in a bunch of samples as well you know usually if you get a bathing garden D stash people are willing to throw in a mess of samples because Shannon is so generous with her samples so I don't know what came from who. <laughs> I honestly don't even know it. Like I, if I had to go back and check and see to make sure that I got everything, which I, I'm pretty certain I did. But if I had to go back and look and make sure I got everything, I'd have no idea. So they could have just sent me random crap. <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm sure they didn't. But thank you ladies to all three of you. And like I said, I will include your channels and links and all that below. Okay, so the first thing I got was Blackberry Fudge. Now this was a scent of the month, I think last month. Yeah, maybe last month. Also, I'm not gonna go into scent descriptions. I did not make my labels because dang it all, who's got time for that right now? I don't. It's the end of school and my daughter's birthday is about ready to be coming up. So I'm just gonna smell them really quick and just do that. This one I wish I had smelled before it went away because it does smell very good. I do like the scent of this. It's kind of different. It's, uh, I think I'm, well, it's called blackberry, but it smells like blueberries to me. It's like a light blueberry. I do like that. I wish I would have known before it went away, but it, it's, I do like that one. Okay, next up we have Soothe Me, which I believe is some sort of like eucalyptus, peppermint, something, spearmint. That kind of, uh, like a lot of vendors have. This is what the inside looks like. Yeah, that's just one that you would put on when you're sick or, you know, I like these anytime really. This storybook mint. And you'll notice when you start buying these stashes, there are some that people just don't like. Like I keep seeing the same ones kind of over and over. I kind of feel bad for the little guys, you know, like nobody like wants them. <laughs> but I actually, I'm giving things a chance now and I'm finding that I do like things that I wouldn't normally like. So Storybook Mint is like kind of like a, a thin mint to me. It's got like, sorry I'm like breathing back here, that's irritating. I'll try to be more quiet. <laughs> yeah, it kind of smells like a thin mint. It's got like a, it smells like it's got a little bit of chocolate but it's mostly minty. So I do like mint scent so that Salty Siren. I was just telling my friend that this is one of the best like margarita scents I've ever smelled. I'm pretty sure this is margarita scented. The Take Me to the Sea should be coming next week, I believe. The 22nd or the 21st or something, I think I saw. But th this one is pro will probably be there. And this one, I don't even like margarita scents, but to me this one just smells like this. And it says, I believe the description is like the saltiest margarita you'll ever smell. Oh, it's just so good. I, I'll have to see how it does on warm. I don't, like I have, haven't in the past like liked margarita scents on warm. So this one I know I probably won't like. Pumpkin, butterscotch, chip, waffles. Just because I'm not into really like heavy bakery. This one is pretty heavy bakery. So I might just hang on to this because sometimes in the fall I get into bakery. So 
I might like that one better. It's not bad. I, I mean, I like bakery too. I don't hate it, so I could probably love it. I could probably force myself to love it. Raspberry stockings. This must have been from Christmas. For some reason, I see a lot of raspberry going up on the D-Stash pages. I think people just don't like raspberry and wax, and I can kind of see where that would be an issue, and that's sort of what it looks like, looked like. It's got that raspberry and then that, if you've ever had like a painting the roses red or dancing elephants, it's kind of got like that tone that she has in some of her stuff. So samples, summer in a jar. I have not had summer in a jar in a while. I forget what it is actually. Okay, this is like peach. It smells like peach. Peach or mango or fruity type notes. So let's put the samples over there just to keep it a little bit cleaner. Bella Mort or Morte or I don't know. I think this is the comforter. Eating Garden Dupe. Oh, whoa, I didn't see that. That's cool. That's definitely, that was Halloween. I don't know. That doesn't smell like comforter to me. Maybe this was something else. Maybe I'm thinking of a different scent. Hmm, that's a unique scent. I have no idea what the scent is on that one. Pumpkin Pie Spice. I'm not going to pull that out because, I mean, that's pretty obvious what that's probably going to smell like. We have lemon curd and rose milk. Emma, if you're watching, I remember you were asking me about this one the other day. I have warmed this before too. I do like this. I don't like lemon curd. I don't like lemon curd, but this is not very strong. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. Emma, you should try it. <laughs> you should try and just warm it. I like her. I like that note that she has in some of her scents that have rose. She's got like a different rose. Oh, this is cute. This is Nights at the Circus. Look at how cute that is. It's a little apple on a stick, a little, you know, candied apple. Oh, and I'm so glad. I can't remember who sent, who, which one of you sent this to me, but I'm so glad you guys in, included this one in the D stash. I absolutely love, I'm, I'm so mad that I missed her circus scents. By the way, this is a shameless plug here, but if anybody has any circus scents that they're not interested in, hit me up. <laughs> I love her, some of her circus scents, like her, it's like her circus concession one. It is, uh, what is that one called? Oh damn, I can't remember. But it's very similar to this Nights at the Circus. It's like a circus concession type, but I think hers is just so good. She had so many that I wanted to try, but I, I just didn't, I didn't know. This Ooh La La, I think I have a clam coming in my order that I made. Actually, I think I made two. E. This is like the prettiest vanilla scent, and I think that's what it is. I think it's like a vanilla blend, so I'm so glad that I got that. It seems to be like some sort of egg. Okay, this one is Scarlet Cinnamon, and I think I told, I think this one came from Heidi if I remember correctly. I said, yeah, she had two, and I was like, just send me one, because I'm not a big cinnamon fan. Whew, and this is like red hot cinnamons for sure. I might just try it just for the hell of it. Ugh, I keep getting, I have like, my nail, I did my nails yesterday, and I'm pretty sure when I painted my nails, I got a cotton, little piece of cotton stuck in there. <laughs> it's irritating me, sorry. This is red hot cinnamons for sure, but I mean, dang, I mean, it sure is a pretty piece of wax. I actually think she sent me both of them anyways. So thank you for that. I, I didn't ask for both, but she sent them anyway. So thank you. I appreciate that very much. She also had it wrapped, like she had this shredded paper. I think she's pretty sure she owns her own business. So she knows what she's doing when she wrap or, you know, puts things in here and wraps them. Another vintage circus. Some, for some reason, I've gotten quite a bit of vintage circus. People just don't seem to like this one very much. But this is another cute, look at how cute that apple is. It, you know, and I can see why people don't. It's kind of a mix between like a floral note and kind of a soapy clean. But then there's like, I think there's apple in here or something or people just don't seem to like Vintage Circus. I see a lot of Vintage Circus 
being de-stashed. Candy Carousel, which I had another sample of from someone else that I warmed in my daughter's bedroom. I really like Candy Carousel. This one, I don't know why. It just smelled good in the warmer. It doesn't smell great on cold, but once you get in the warmer, it does smell really good. All right, what else do we have in here? See, she sent me Kiss Me Silly. There's some cute little lips there. Okay, that, what is that? Is that strawberry? This is strawberry something. That's pretty straight strawberry right there. Kiss me silly. And then Cinderella would be jealous. I've been trying to get my hands on this one for a long time. So this is cool that that was in there. I think it's a Lush stew, perhaps. Let me see. Oh yes, that is snow cake. Oh, I wonder how that warms on warm. I wonder how that warms on warm. Okay, Kim, seriously. I wonder what that smells like on warm. Ah, oh, I love snow cake. I don't know how it's gonna smell in a warmer, but I adore snow cake. I could sniff that one all day. Clamshells, she sent me the golden egg. Well, when I say sent me, I, this is part of the D-stash. So this is one of the new ones. I think I ordered this one off the website. I think this is some sort of like marzipan and I don't know, some other stuff, <laughs> of course. It's not just gonna be straight marzipan, but this one's pretty, I like that one. I said in my other videos, and I'll say it here in case I didn't say it already, but I'm gonna spend more time on the warm reviews. My friend Angela kind of gave me that idea this morning, and I thought that was a brilliant idea to spend less time on the hauls, more time on the warm reviews. Frosted Fruitcake, this one is so pretty. So, so frosted fruit cake is definitely a different scent. It does smell like a fruit cake, but with a little bit of sweetness. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. This is one when I saw. I was just like, oh, I don't know. But I was just buying D stashes left and right just to hoard the bathing garden. I don't know. Uh, Marshmallow Frosted Mango Tangerine. Sorry, I don't know why I stumbled on that. I've had this one before. I have melted it. I do like it. It's been a long time since I've had this one. This one is just pretty. I remember the marshmallow being heavier last time, and it just smells more like a, like a mango. Mango Tangerine. It's got a bit of tartness and a little bit of sweetness. All right, let's keep this moving. Tricky Banana Treats. I believe I had this at one point and I think I de-stashed it just because it wasn't for me. But I mean, I've, my nose has changed so I'm willing to try new things and I just love, I mean, how cute is this stinking mummy in there? This is like a baked, it smells like a baked banana. Sort of like a banana bread actually, if you think about it like that. It's pretty, let's keep it moving. A Parisian Strawberry Fields. I've seen, I think this one is still up on the website. So that one's super pretty. Again, I'm sorry I don't have scent descriptions, but I'll just save that for warmer reviews. This is just like a strawberry, like I really don't know how to describe it. It's just more like a light. This one actually is pretty light. It's like a strawberry scent, but I can't really tell what else is going on in there. Okay, and then Bunny Whiskers, which I think is still up, maybe? Or is it not? I don't know. I feel like it's in the spring collection. And then it just has the tiniest kiss of that pink bunny in there, and then all the glitter. Okay, what is that? Is that cherries? Yeah, this one was a cherry one. I don't know, my scents have been changing and I've never had cherry before, so I'm like totally into this. <laughs> Mummy Mademoiselle, or Ma oh geez. Yeah, whatever. I'm not French. This one's pretty. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's, it's pretty. It's not fruity or bakery or anything, it's just pretty. 
uh, she did uh, the shredded paper and um, there was more down the bottom. Oh, here's one. I haven't had um, guava berry gelato in a super long time. So I was super stoked about this one. Mm, that's like super fruity. Yeah, that's super fruity goodness. Really like that one. And then another Kiss Me Silly. And then another Guava Berry Gelato. And then the Illusionist, which I did um, just warm like a couple days ago. So, and I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is the one I think with orange blossom in it. Yeah. Okay, so let's keep it moving here. Still have a lot to get through. All right, like I said, I don't know in what order these came. So this, or who these came from, I'm just pulling them out of bags. The sweetest thing. This one smells like a Lush dupe of some sort, but how pretty. It sort of smells like, it reminds me of Rockstar a little bit. So I'll have to look at that up and see. I'll get, have my scent descriptions on par for next like warm reviews or whatever. I just didn't have time to do it today. Cupid, which I had in another video of D stashes. For some reason, people don't like this one either. I think because it's a little bit light. It's kind of like a soapy smell, but I do like it. I'm, I'm going to warm that pretty soon and see like if people, why people aren't liking it. Strawberry Hearts. I've seen this one up for D stash quite a bit too, so I have a feeling. Oh, this one's actually really pretty. It's sweet. It's like very. Oh, okay, so she's got a fresh picked strawberry there on the bottom. And then on the top is like a sweet. I don't know if it's marshmallow or cotton candy or something, but strawberry hearts isn't bad. And then Love and Madness, which is a berry scented. I just warmed through one of these the other day. I think it's got raspberries. Again, I think people just don't love raspberries and I think Bathing Garden does raspberry quite a bit. This is, the little label fell off, but this is a cardamom potion and it's a brain. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what the scent notes are, but I believe cardamom is a spice. So I'm guessing that's going to be like a spicy. I don't hate it, so that's cool. And then somebody included Hades and Persephone. They probably heard me, so thank you to whoever sent me that. I love it. I love all the samples of that. Deadly Gardens. That one's pretty. That one's really pretty. I really like that. That's another floral type of scent. And then Cemetery Keys, which both of those, it's hard to see in the bag because her bags tend to get really smudgy, but they're like these pretty, here, what the hell, I'll just pull one out. They're like these pretty like designs. Cemetery Keys is another like floral type scent is what I'm getting off of it. Poison Apothecary, which is like her mold cider, and I think it has a something else in it, like forest, or uh, what is the word that she used? Oh, hint of like woods or something, I think. Salty Siren, again, oh, I could smell that one all day. I'll probably just set that next to me and sniff it while I'm working around the house today. Uh, Magic Grain Soup, which is Lush Jungle Dupe. I've never had this one, but people love this one. I think it has patchouli in it. I, I'm not familiar with jungle because I've never had any jungle stuff from Lush. It's very unique. I like this though. I like unique and different now lately. Like I, when I first started in wax, I'll tell you what. I was into blackberry jam butter cookie. I was into zucchini bread. I was into anything bakery. I was all over it. But now I'm like not loving bakery. Widow's Walk. Can anybody tell me what in the world is this? I feel like it's a Lush dupe. It is the most beautiful clam. I love the blue and the gold like mixed together, but look at how pretty that is. 
it's got such a unique scent. Whoops, sorry, my foot's falling asleep down here. It's got such a pretty unique scent, but I just don't know what it is. If anybody knows, I tried to look it up on the site. Um, the page for the bathing garden used to be kept up pretty well. Actually, I think I know one of the admins. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think the fan page for the Bane Garden used to be kept up pretty well. I'm not going to do this one again. It's the same one that I just did a little bit earlier. But she, like, they used to keep the Lush Dupe section. Like, if you go in the files, there's they actually keep the Lush Dupes in there. And I didn't see some of them. So, and I feel like some of these are Lush Dupes. Okay, this next one is Netherworld Zombie. And this was put in, like, a little bag here. Sorry, I'm not really showcasing it very well, but it looks like little pumpkins. And this is, I'm not gonna open it. I believe this has some sort of dirt smell. But when I first whipped it, I almost got like a bakery or like a citrus note out of there. I need to look that one up because I don't know what's in there, but I think actually she sent me two. Yeah, there's two in here, so I'm gonna I'll probably try to warm that today just to see what the heck it is. Okay, Faded Opulence, which I love this one. This is like a cola clove and it's more of like a cola but like with um with dark spices, I would say. I got another Deadly Gardens. Okay, we are almost done here. Tropical Fairy Garden. That, I've never heard of this one before. Huh, I don't know what's in there. Smells good though. Okay, Charm and Ruin. I believe I got a whole clamshell in this one somewhere in here. This one I feel like is some sort of lush dupe as well. And then another cemetery keys. I got loaded up on cemetery keys. <laughs> okay. Let's try to hurry this up. Elf Morning Blend. I see a lot of people de-stashing this too. I warmed this the other day, actually. I really liked it. It was a nice mint chocolate. But when you're like away from it and it's coming about the room, you just get this nice mint scent. I really liked it. Tombstone Dust, which I believe is some sort of apple. Look how pretty that is. Apple. Oh, you know what? This reminds me of... Mmm. Okay, that's apple and like, it reminds me of like a circus apple is really what it reminds me of. There's something else in there. It's apple and something else, I think. <laughs> Got another magic green soup sample and, oh, that, hold on a second. This looks really pretty. Let's just look at it. Oh, how pretty. It's like covered in gold. She does like such like immaculate shapes. Again, that's the jungle lush soup. I have samples for days. Alice dressed in gold. I think this is up right now. I probably grabbed one of those from my order too. Hopefully I like it. Oh, okay. This is really soapy. This is like a soapy... This is unique. It smells like an old-fashioned soap too. I don't know if I love that. Hopefully I didn't order more than one. I went nuts buying from her last because I had good results from her when I did the testing or what I call testing. So I had, yeah, I had good luck with that. Bella Donna tincture. Oh, that, that has to be lush. That has to be a lush dupe. I don't know what it is. Oh, it smells so familiar. Why can't I figure it out? Is this Twilight? Yeah, wait, this is Twilight. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure this is Twilight. Hopefully, I'm right on that. I haven't warmed a Twilight dupe in a while. So that'll be cool. Uh, Horfrost Tonic. I remember I had this from the Halloween and I remember I didn't like it, but I actually like it this go around. Oh, that one's good. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's not bakery. It's like a citrus, smell good, fresh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, like I said, when I do warm reviews, another Widow's Walk. I got coffee sprinkles. 
I love coffee scents. So this one, I'm pretty sure it has coffee and then it's got something else like a bakery element going on and I don't know what the bakery element is. And we have another storybook, storybook mint. We have a death becomes her. Okay, this one I remember having before and I remember I didn't like it. I don't remember what's in here though. Oh, you know what? I think it's some sort of peppermint cookies or something. I don't know. I should just try and warm this. I'm trying to be more open-minded about scents and just go for it. Oh, another coffee sprinkle. So another one that somebody didn't, <laughs> didn't like. And then we've got Krakenberry. There's actually an old tale about the octopus. That's what the octopus, one of my subscribers, or my subscribers, what the hell am I talking about? One of uh, the, one of my, somebody commented, let's do that. Somebody commented on my video that it's, I was calling it Crankenberry or some weird thing. It's Krakenberry. And if you actually look it up, there's an old tale about this octopus. It was very interesting. So I always thank the girl that told me about that because I like learning things. This one I actually really like. It's a, well, of course it's berry, berries and some other stuff. But when I warmed it, it I really did enjoy it. And then Sweet Maddie, I love this one. This one is so pretty on warm. So, so pretty. Now this one, I believe, is a Lush tube. I think this is Creamy Candy and Rockstar and all that jazz. This one, you, you wouldn't think, like on cold, I wouldn't love it, but on warm, it smells so gorgeous. Okay, that is it, you guys. <laughs> that is the craziness of the D-Stash bathing garden. I just can't get enough of this stuff right now. It's like I missed out, like I didn't order for so long. And yeah, I was testing again. I was doing another round of testing, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to screw, screw it. And I'll talk about that in a different video. But anyways, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Heidi and I want to make sure I pronounce your name right. Casey, Heidi, and Brianna. Yeah. Thank you all so much for offering up your D-stashes to me. Some just posted them and I just said me. <laughs> so thank you so much, you guys. And yes, oh, Heidi is the one that actually like reached out to me and put a D-stash together for me. So thank you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.